Hey everybody, Dave Weiss here for The Glue Bomb Show. Well, today I've got an interesting project for you. This is something very different. We're going to start off with kind of a traditional unboxing, but I wanted to share with you some really cool inspiration. This is going to be a completely different build from anything I've ever done. I'm excited about it, but let's start with the basics. Okay, when I'm going to try something different, one of the things I'm always hopeful for is that I can find an inexpensive kit. And part of the reason I like to use an inexpensive kit, of course, is because if I make a mistake, if I ruin it, I haven't really lost a lot. And so that's what I'm going to do. If it works out on this one, I might try it on a more expensive one. So let's start here. I got some, uh, some of the model building groups that I'm a part of online. I started to see that Hobby Lobby was running a clearance sale on their kits. Well, of course, I don't really need a lot more kits right now, but if it's cheap, it's for me, right? <laughs> Sorry, but that's kind of how it is. Um, and I got there, and of course, I'm sure the professional pickers got most of it by the time I got there. But I did find one kit. It's the Academy 172nd scale USAF F4, F16, excuse me, A. And it normally goes for $17.99, but it was on sale for $4.49. Now, I've been wanting to do a plane project that we'll get into in a minute for quite some time. And again, I was looking for an inexpensive kit to try it out on. And here we go. So let's have a look inside the box first, because you might just want to build this kit. And frankly, if they're floating around at a very inexpensive price, that would be wonderful, right? Okay. This is kind of interesting. I never saw this before. It says, uh, check with part list before unsealing. Replace and return not guaranteed when plastic is unsealed. Okay. Well, that's all well and good. And fortunately, because they do that, they actually do have the price, the uh, parts list outside the box. Um, again, this is a very basic kit, right? There's only uh, very few steps to it. Not a lot going on here, but that's okay. That's kind of what I need. And I'm looking at the shape of the plane, which I've known what F-16s look like before, this one's almost perfect for what I want to do. So let's look at the parts. Very neatly put together. Um, uh, just, a, just a nice looking little kit. Again, this is not a big plane. There's not a lot to it, but I don't really need a lot for this. You've got your uh, top and bottom. you got your top half of the fuselage, bottom half of the fuselage. You've got the, uh, the, fin, the tail piece. You've got the wings and the, uh, the other tails. Guys, I don't build planes, so I don't really know the names of all this stuff. I know there's ailerons and elevators and all that good stuff. But um, anyway, so there's really two part trees. It's this one and this one. And, uh, okay, and there should be, oh, <laughs> that's interesting. Check the part trees to make sure you have all the parts before you open it. Oh, there it is. Never mind. I was starting to think I was out of part tree. That would have been bad. But anyway, here it is, just the, uh, the glass. So, again, there's some armament on here. Uh, again, all the different various wing pieces. Looks like there's the uh, intake. Uh, and there's the, the, the back end of the engine sticking out. And uh, so it's, again, a really, and then we've got a very small decal sheet. Not a lot of decals on here. Just a few uh, stars and bars kind of things. And looks like the, uh, the cockpit has a very simple decal. Again, this is exactly what I was looking for, for the project that I'm doing. So I want to show you what I want to do. I'm not going to paint this like an ordinary U.S. Air Force F-16. Now, instead, I'm going to paint it in something I call Mothra. And here is my inspiration. Isn't that amazing? 
I was walking into my local Lowe's hardware store and I saw this thing on the wall. It's between two and three inches long, so it's fairly large, but it's a moth. And it's in almost what looks like a really cool military camouflage. And I thought, wouldn't it look cool to paint a jet fighter like that? But at the time, I really didn't have a jet fighter that I thought I could use. And when I saw this, I thought, there it is. Now, I'm going to name it Mothra. Mothra after the, uh, the monster from the Godzilla movies, right? But I'm actually going to try. I'm going to attempt to paint it to look like that moth. From what I understand, that's a Pandora Sphinx moth. And I've never seen one before. I've never seen one since. But my mind was blown by how cool that camouflage is. You guys know I'm a minister. And, and I got to admit, when I see stuff like that, it just blows my mind at the creativity of God. But that's a different story for a different day. You may or may not be into that, but I am. But that's what I'm going to try to do with this X-16. I'm going to try to paint it military markings. I'm thinking about even giving it a face like the P-40 Warhawk Tiger Sharks. And uh, I'm not sure if I can pull that off, but I'm going to try. And I'd like to make a decal that just says Mothra, just in small on the one side, like they did on a lot of the old fighter planes. Again, there's no way the U.S. Air Force is ever going to do that. But I thought, it would be so cool. You don't always have to do everything completely realistically. Sometimes you can find inspiration in cool and strange places. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Now, I'm going to tell you in advance, you won't see this for a while. I've got a lot of other projects, but I just thought I would share this one with you today and just show you because sometimes you get inspiration from weird places and the best thing you can do is run with it. So that's what I have for you today. Take care. Have a great day. God bless.